Five Steps to Becoming Financially Free by 2024. What's up, guys? My name is Jorge Contreras, and I have built multiple seven-figure businesses over the last 15 years. And in this video, I wanna share with you some of the strategies I've utilized to become financially free by 29, a millionaire by 30, and now by 35, a multi-millionaire. But before we do, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. The very first thing is that you have to decide what your one thing is. Here's the thing, guys. I see too many entrepreneurs that are trying to build two, three, four, five streams of income all at the same time. Now, it is true that the average millionaire has seven streams of income, but nobody said that they built seven streams of income at the same time. The way most entrepreneurs became ultra successful is they went all in on one thing and then once that got to you know the highest level possible then they finally started and building another stream of income but they didn't go and build three streams of income at the same time there is a book that will help with this it is called the one thing and i highly recommend it it is written by gary keller the owner of Keller Williams Realty, which is one of the largest uh, real estate franchises in the world. And in the book, he says, what is the one thing that if you did that successfully, it would make everything else easier or unnecessary? And this is very powerful. It reminds me of another lesson that I learned from one of my mentors where he was giving me an example and he said, Jorge, if you're in this island right here, and you want to get to this island, he said, how many bridges do you need? Because the mistake entrepreneurs make is they start building one stream of income, then they get another idea, another idea. Next thing you know is they got four or five incomplete bridges when all they needed was one bridge to get from this island to this island. So the very first thing you must do is decide what is going to be your one thing and then go all in on that. The second thing that is gonna help you become financially free is to buy other people's time. The reality is we cannot create more time for ourselves, right? The time that we have is a time that we have, like all we have is 24 hours in a day. But imagine if you had two or three people that were helping you. And here's the thing, there's two limiting beliefs that entrepreneurs have when it comes to building a team and hiring other people. The first limiting belief is if I want it done right, I have to do it myself. And the second limiting belief is if I do it myself, I will keep more money. And both of those limiting beliefs are what keep entrepreneurs from growing. Now, I know that my team members or employees are not going to do things likely at 100% of my capability. So my goal that is realistic is can I get my team member or my employee to do this work that I normally do at 100%? Can I get them to do it at 80% of how I can normally do it? And that is very doable. Imagine if you have four people that are all doing certain tasks and they're operating these tasks at 80% of what you could do it, right? That's 400%. You just duplicated yourself. Whenever you hire someone, don't look at it as an expense. Look at it as an investment. Ideally, whatever you pay somebody on an annual basis, you should be making double or triple from the work they create, right? Not from what you're doing. I'm talking about from what they're doing. Is the work they're doing, can you double or triple in revenue whatever you pay them as an expense? Therefore, I don't see it like an expense. I see it as an investment. The next one is to be very smart about large expenses, especially when you're in building mode. You don't want to have these large monthly expenses. Definitely avoid getting your dream car, even your dream home at the beginning. I recommend reinvesting the profits from the business back into the business so you can truly get it to where you want it to be. You know, I see entrepreneurs making this mistake all the time where they start to create some success. They start to create some momentum and then they go and they buy a vehicle and now they got a one or two thousand dollar a month payment. Again, those things are great and you should do them at some point. But first reinvest back into your business. Really try to get it to like 10 or 20K a month. 
right? Which is very, very doable if you are persistent, if you are committed, if you have the right guidance, and if you're taking action every single day. Once you get to that level, then start to enjoy those things, but don't start to enjoy those things too early on where it actually negatively impacts your business and your growth. If you guys are enjoying this content so far, make sure you guys smash the like button because it truly helps the YouTube algorithm. Thank you guys so much in advance. The next part that I wanna go over is you have to let go of the wrong people in your life in order to make room for the right people to come into your life because it's true. You are the average of the five people that you surround yourself with the most. If you surround yourself with five people that are always broke, whining, complaining, and overweight, then guess what? You're about to be next. But the opposite is true. If you surround yourself with five people that are motivated, they're driven, they're action-oriented, they're risk-takers, they're in great health, and they are becoming the greatest version of themselves, then guess what? You are about to be next as well. So you have to be very selective with who you surround yourself with. This is not just to become financially free, but to truly have an overall great quality of life. You want to surround yourself with people who inspire you, who motivate you, who want to see you and believe in you to become the greatest version of yourself. That being said, guys, I am hosting a five-day challenge where you are going to learn more in five days than you have in the last five years about starting and automating an Airbnb business. Check out the link down below to join my five-day challenge. And also make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and check out one of the other videos here before you guys go anywhere. See you on the next one. Peace.